Hey guys, Jake here from hookahrev.com bringing you a video review on a hookah. This is uh, another Sahara smoke hookah. They've been pumping out a lot of new hookah models lately and uh, we're trying to get them in just as fast just to give you guys the review. Um, but this one, definitely a big shout out to hookahhub.com uh, for sending us this hookah out to review. Be sure to check out their website. There is a uh, exclusive discount code uh, for hookahrev.com members which you can find on our website. Be sure to check them out. They've got a lot of good deals on uh, almost every kind of, kind of uh, like KM, Sahara smoke hookahs, as well as tobacco and accessories that you uh, might be needing. So this is the Conjar hookah. This is the Conjar Knight. Just released. The first thing that I noticed about this actually was the box. The box is very unique. This is actually one of my favorite things uh, about the hookah. So you've got kind of a, a really nice design here with a nice locking mechanism. But other than that, I just really wanted to outline that because it is a really innovative uh, box. But inside, for, uh, fairly straightforward, just comes with bubble wrap and all your accessories and obviously the hookah inside. So this is the box for the Conjure Knight. We're going to set this one right here, just so it's in the view. Adds a nice little backing. Uh, but this little, uh, this little hookah right here is a small hookah, so it stands at about 12 inches high from base to the top of the bowl. Uh, 12 inches, so it is a small hookah, portable hookah, whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, I wouldn't actually say portable for a few reasons, and we'll, we'll go on to that here in a bit. So, uh, the first clip that I'm actually going to uh, pan out in a second is on the actual assembly of it, and just to show you guys what's involved in setting up this hookah. Now, at first glance, this is, this is very unique. Everything is very unique about this Conjure hookah, and everything really is unique, uh, even after the first glance. Um, but there are some technical issues that are surrounding this hookah, which you're going to see in this next clip. Um, but the first things that I wanted to, to show you guys, which you can see here, is just from top to bottom, um, uh, the, the actual aesthetics of this piece. So you have the stem part, which is made out of ceramic, uh, actually, which is, I haven't seen that done at all. And then, the, and then the, moving towards the bottom, you see the glass, which is the glass face, nice, solid quality glass, as you can always expect from Sahara Smoke. Uh, and then you actually have this hose, uh, which is kind of like that tonic disposable hose style that they introduced. Um, but this is the same type of material that you'll see, so it is washable. Plastic tip uh, or host mouthpiece with a, with a plastic hose port as well. Um, the, other, the other unique thing about this Conjure, and, and I, I think this is where they released it, was, is their, their unique Conjure Vortex bolt. So it's a little bit smaller. It'll actually hold uh, probably anywhere from 10 to 15 grams, so you're going to save a lot of tobacco on this as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot smaller of a vortex bowl, a little bit more shallow, and even the holes in the spire are, are a little bit smaller. So, you guys have seen the hookah now, um, but now I'm going to pan out to the assembly of it. Uh, so you, you're probably going to pick up on the issues as, as, you, as you follow the video. So. so you've got the components of the conjurer here, which is the vase, the stem, well, the stem portion, the actual stem, tray, the conjar vortex, which is a little bit smaller as you notice, the top grommet, and then the vase grommet. So I've already actually filled this with water. I'm just going to show you guys uh, the setup process on this. So you have this piece, which is made out of ceramic, actually, and this, this actually acts as the, the housing or the enclosing for the, uh, for the actual stem piece which goes inside like such, so there's, it's hollow, there's, just fits in like here. And kind of the frustrating part is that it does have to be held with the grommet. There's actually no good way of securing it without sticking that pipe into the top grommet piece, which you can see there. Got to check the water level. Thankfully the glass is clear, so you can see that easily. But then you also have this grommet piece which you have to fit inside. So that goes right over the grommet and then you have to be a little bit careful with this part. You have to hold the top. As you can see I'm sticking it through the grommet and then the trick is you have to secure it on there whilst holding the stem in place. So you can see 
almost lost it there. But once you get it on there, it is fairly secure, but you almost see that I lost it right there. So definitely hold this one by the glass, no doubt about it. But this is one of the issues that I wanted to show you guys. Once I set it up like that, you can see we have a piece missing. You can't put it over the grommet. This is the annoying part. If you ever forget to put that tray on, you have to take the whole piece out, fit the tray on there, and stick it back in as such. And that's how you secure the Conjurer Night Hookah. Now, one issue I also found was that during the tray placement, it's not the steadiest. So you can see here, it's flimsy. No matter how tightly you put this on, because you can't really secure it that much tighter because it is holding the stem in place. So you can see it's quite wobbly. Not too bad, but it can loosen up as such. Alright, so you can see there are definitely some operational issues or technical issues surrounding this hookah. And the big question, of course, would be how does it relay in the performance of everything? Well, since we touched on it a little bit in the beginning, like I said, this is a small hookah. It's supposed to be like a portable hookah. Now, if you're out and about and trying to take this with you to like the beach or the park or just somewhere or even to a friend's house, it's a little bit of a hassle and it's not very durable because of some of the issues that you've seen. One knock kind of throws the whole thing off. Um, granted, you're not going to be, you know, bumping your hookah around a lot, but still, it's, it's a very important factor. So, this, the quality on the pull, the pull, even though the downstem was that thin, I'll show you. You can see the clouds are thin and that's not because of the draw. Believe it or not, the draw is actually not so bad. But where I think it's being affected, and this has been going for about 20 minutes, Starbuzz Tobacco, uh, Cocoa Buzz Coal, so pretty straightforward setup that we use here at Hooper F. Um, the draw isn't the issue, but I feel like there's just some mechanical issues inside that's causing the uh, the small the small the small cloud output. So, in the middle of this piece, it is it is definitely a common chamber because there's nothing. It's a straight through ceramic stem piece. Um, there's nothing going on with that, and then the unique purge port, which does seal uh, fairly well. But then where the issue is is right here. When I take a small pull, if I, if I take a really, really light pull, there's definitely some leakage going on. I can actually pull smoke straight from the head to the hose. So I'm going to play this clip. I, I tried my best with the volume output on this. You're going to have to, uh, hopefully it comes out well in there. But, but basically, yeah, just watch it first and we'll, and we'll show you guys what's happening. You guys are going to have to listen a little closely on this. I'm going to turn the volume up here just on this clip. But I just want to show you one of the uh, the issues with this hookah. So this is the normal volume for the pole. Everything appears to be normal, but then try to listen. You're actually able to pull smoke straight from the hose, from the bowl before it even goes to the chamber. So what's happening with that is if you, if you suck really, really lightly, you can actually hear almost like that whistle uh, of, of the, the smoke being pulled directly from the bowl instead of through the water like it normally should in a hookah. So that, that's a huge issue. I mean, it's not a leak. Um, it's just, I think it's just the construction of this hookah, which is a very, very big downfall for this piece. Okay. so. We're gonna give another. We're gonna give you another smoke pull just to show you. It's very light and wispy. It does heat up a little bit better as you go on, but this is to give you an idea. About 20 minutes into the bowl, which is not very impressive at all. So, with all these things in mind, the design on this is amazing. I love everything from the box just to the vase and things like that. Very functional hose. Um, that you can use uh, your hose if desired, but don't you can't use a big one. You can't use a heavy one like a KM hose or anything like that. It's just recommended to just use the hose that comes with it. 
uh, or like the smaller gauge like Maya Hills or Sahara Smoke Hose that you can get with a generic glue gun. Only the small hose uh, will, will, will be okay for replacement on these, or even a fancy hose would be alright too. So the aesthetics on this are very nice. Uh, the ceramic stem piece is very unique. Even the locking method, how that stem, the actual down stem fits in, very unique. Now this definitely scores like 100 out of 100 for uniqueness, for sure. But as far as functionality, there's a lot of downfalls in this, as you guys see and noticed throughout this video. Um, this, def this one definitely needs a lot of work. Now, if you're looking for something that looks nice, but you know, obviously not going to be your daily smoker by any means, this wouldn't be my daily smoker at all. I would actually question to use this one ever again um, because I personally have so many other hookahs to choose from. Um, but overall, this one falls very, very short from a functional hookah. Uh, I see I see the ideas and the innovations, especially like at the host port that they were trying to do on this. Um, but overall, we have, we're going to have to give this one a 25 out of 100. It was a very poor performing hookah. Uh, I really wanted to like it, if that makes any sense. Uh, that everything about it screamed innovation for sure, um, but the execution on it just wasn't done well at all. So um, if you like the look of it, that's going to be the only reason that you're going to want to buy this one. But Big shout out and thank you again to HugoHub.com for sending us this review. They send us stuff selflessly just to get our take on it. Uh, obviously, they don't benefit anything from it other than uh, you know us getting a, a take on one of the products that they sell. So while this one might not be the best buy for you guys from HugoHub, you can always check out and use your uh, exclusive HugoHub.com coupon code to buy any of their other uh, awesome models that they have on there. So. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Jake with another Hooker Review. Check us out, website, hookerrev.com. A lot of different stuff going on there, like the gold uh, membership package that we will outline in a video in the very, very near future, probably the next video, actually. Uh, but stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, keep smoking. See you guys later.